South Carolina family in South Georgia tonight helping victims of senseless crimes. Their loved one found dead in Thomasville less than a year ago. Good evening, I'm Mika Highsmith. And I'm Greg Angel. Thank you for watching WTXL ABC 27 News at 6. Now this is all part of National Crime Victims Rights Weeks. WTXL ABC 27's Brittany Jones has more for us tonight in our top story at 6. This is where the body was found more than nine months ago, just right behind this greenhouse. The family today just asking for closure. We pray for your continuing strength of all the victims of violent crime. A prayer for strength goes a long way for murder victims like the Williams family. You never imagine as a mother getting a phone call about your child. The family drove all the way from South Carolina to join dozens of families in Thomasville this National Crimes Victims Rights Week. The other families you see here also suffering the loss of loved ones. A struggle Williams' mother Ada says is beyond tough. It helps when you see that you're not the only person that hurts like this. Police say 21-year-old military veteran Hassan Williams was shot to death in July 2012. His body was found behind this vacant home on Metcalf Avenue. Williams' mother says investigators have been very supportive. It helps a lot because of the emotions that they show. It lets me know that my son just wasn't another case to them. They actually care. William's sisters wishing they could bring him back. He was very energetic. He was always happy. And one thing, he was a great brother, and he was also a great father. And I truly do miss him. Every time I was mad, he'd do something crazy to make me laugh. It's like they took something that I can't get back. He, they took my oldest brother. They took my best friend. These four people have been charged in connection with William's death, now waiting trial in the Thomas County Jail. His mom is now praying for peace hoping justice will be served. Justice, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. The assistant district attorney in this case expects the four charged with Williams' death to go to trial by September. In Thomasville, Brittany Jones, WTXL, ABC 27, dedicated to you.